In our previous magnesium video, Magnesium Getting It Right is Crucial, we spoke about the fact that there was little to no research currently available looking at magnesium in relation to the behaviour of horses. However, this is no longer true. A study has now been published in the Journal of Equine Veterinary Science, which was carried out by Sturt University researcher Jess Dodd. Jess's investigations highlighted some facts about magnesium, which previously had been put down to simply being theories. The first claim which the research supports is the idea that excess oral magnesium is not simply excreted, but can in fact raise the level of magnesium in the blood, and therefore most likely the rest of the body too. In Jess's study, horses' blood magnesium levels were monitored over a period of six hours. It was found that horses supplemented with 10 grams of oral magnesium had a significantly higher level of magnesium in their bloodstream after one hour in comparison to those horses not given supplementary magnesium. Surprisingly, this is not the first time that research has shown that excess magnesium is not simply excreted. An investigation which was carried out by Hinson and Shriver in 1973 demonstrated that regardless of the amount of magnesium in the diet, 37% is retained in the body and not excreted. This study gave three different levels of magnesium over one month each. Equally importantly, the levels represented double and five times recommended dietary level produced horses whose blood magnesium level was above the normal range. This also corresponds very well with the results of our blood trials reported in the original magnesium video. These findings really give weight to the idea that magnesium is not simply excreted, and if it's not, what is it doing in your horse's body? The second part of Jess's trial goes some way towards answering this question. In our original magnesium video, we talked about the fact that injectable magnesium is a banned substance due to its sedatory effects. In the past, the idea that oral magnesium could have the same effect has been dismissed by many, as they believed that any excess magnesium was excreted and was therefore not able to sedate. As previously mentioned, we now know this is not the case. Oral magnesium at a rate as low as 10 grams can substantially elevate the blood magnesium content and so there is a chance that excess oral magnesium can produce the very same results as injectable magnesium. The second part of Jess Dodd's research actually begins to cover this idea. The flight response of horses was tested following the provision of either 2.5 grams of magnesium, 10 grams of magnesium or ACP. It was found that when the horses were given ACP they ran away much slower than those which were not given anything. This is not a surprise, as anyone who has been sedated will know you're not very fast when you're feeling groggy. What will come as a surprise to some is that two and a half grams of oral magnesium produced a very similar lack of response, while those horses supplemented with 10 grams of magnesium moved even slower than those that had been sedated. All of this comes together to add weight to Equifi's theory that horses can be sedated by excess oral magnesium. So is magnesium bad? At the end of the day, no mineral is bad, provided it is given in moderation. The horses used in this trial already had adequate levels of magnesium in their diet, a level reflective of a large proportion of the horses in the UK. Any horses which are genuinely deficient in magnesium are extremely likely to benefit from a small amount being added to the diet. What this research does is show that as a community, our popular concept of what counts as excess levels of magnesium is outdated and needs revisiting. And the sooner that occurs, the better for the welfare and well-being of horses all around the world. For more details on Jess Dodd's research, please visit the article available through the link highlighted below. If you have any questions, then please contact Equifis now by calling 01453 836 974, emailing advice at equifis.com or visiting our website www.equifis.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates.